Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike. It's Dan. The Great Wall of China. Beautiful. Majestic. <sighs> yes. We'll soon have a subway going through it. Underneath it. Yeah. I mean, look, right now, this the Great Wall is actually undergoing a lot of turmoil. Okay. First of all, parts of it is just in shambles. It's literally deteriorating like it will just collapse. Okay. It, it's sad. It's really sad. I mean, we're talking about a, the most defining structure of a modern civilization right now, right? The mo Would you say it's the most defining structure of when people think of China, name one place, area, whatever, Great Wall. Okay? I mean, it's, it's, it's not even just like n nature that's taking this toll, right? Yeah. People are going there stealing the bricks. <laughs> and when, okay, and when they do do something, like when they try to do something, Instead of rebuilding it because there's not enough manpower and not enough money, they they just pave it, and yeah. that's one of the most atrocious things I've ever seen. But anyways, that's for something else. But Great Wall now has to deal with, like you're saying, in the upcoming 2022 Winter Olympics. Wow, 2022 sounds like it's that far away, but it's actually not. It sounds Time like flies. it is, right? Time flies. Time really flies. So in eight years, there's Winter Olympics being held in Beijing, and now uh, they want to start constructing one of the, if not the largest and the longest underground rail, rail system. Yeah. And these tunnels, not, it's not just like, yo, let's fill the track. No, these tunnels are ginormous. But it's just kind of crazy that one, one of the most ancient structures on the planet, right. now I have a sub, I mean, subway going underneath it. I mean, like, you, you think you think the digging process because here, here's the thing dude mm -hmm. people who build the great wall when they die oh they, they're buried within the great wall oh the they're great in there wall man. is just like a massive graveyard oh they're it, they're in there man i think they're gonna find some stuff oh they're in there man and not only are they gonna find some stuff i bet you they're gonna find like they're gonna this might happen okay you're, you're obviously gonna dig really deep and then I bet you they didn't dig deep enough. And then some report is gonna be like, "Well, we thought that this is deep enough, but we're just finding skull and Yo, bones everywhere." I wanna, I wanna, I wanna read something about the curse of the Great Wall of China. Okay. Where people who are digging this tunnel mysteriously started to die. Not that I'm wishing death on anybody, but the curse could be real. Oh, I'm saying. But the cur, but uh, this would be like a new curse because, because of. The curse would have to be passed down for a long time. No, right? no curses have, don't have to be passed oh, okay. down. Long. Like, like let's say, let's say Qin Shi Huang, right? Yeah. Qin Shi Huang, he's like, he's like, yo, whoever messes with my great wall, yeah. I'm gonna curse them. Yeah. And that's that's like in existence right now. Well, maybe not just him, because we know the great wall wasn't just built in one dynasty, right? Yeah. It was built throughout thousands throughout, and thousands until of the years. Ming dynasty. Yeah. But there could be there could be curses along the different stretches. Dude, it's I mean, insane. technically you're not really doing anything wrong, okay? You're, you're, you're building a tunnel. It just so happens that you're going underneath the Great Wall, but, if, but because of what the Great Wall has been going through, you can't help but to you know, think that, oh, this is something else it's gotta deal with, yeah. along with all the problems that are there right now. Yo, I remember my, 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 my one experience on the Great Wall, it mm -hmm. was miserable. Really? Yeah, because my parents, or uh, my sorry, my, my aunt and uncle who I okay. was with at the time, they were so cheap, they would not buy me water. Um, so okay. I'm, I'm climbing the Great Wall in the summer, oh my and they're too gosh. cheap to buy us water. Oh my god! So they gave me and my cousin each a can of soda, a can of Coke. But that makes you it can't, worse. You can't drink Coke. I'm on warm a, Coke. So so by the time I'm trying to save it because I'm, I'm like I'm like trying to savor it because I'm trying yeah. to like it's my only savor my only the Coke liquid left. And then I didn't drink it until I was on top of the right. wall. And then by that time it was warm. So I drank it and Ugh. it went down in like two seconds. I'm so thirsty. And the whole oh way my down, my, my mouth is all slimy because of the Coke residue. Dude. And I'm so thirsty because I'm about to die baking under the sun. <laughs> Let me ask you something. You know how like when you go to like a really amazing, like when you go to Sedona or say uh -huh. when you go to see like a beautiful temple, you kind of get this like, you kind of get goosebumps, right? Yeah. Did you, is this a structure where one would get that? Yeah, you, I mean, you do get it. If you okay. if you go to the top and you look down, you can see it kind of swirling around the landscape. Yeah. The beautiful landscape yeah. is magical. Okay. I mean, it's not magical because there's 20 billion people on the wall with you. Okay. But if you're able to get to a stretch where it's kind of isolated, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. But, what, but you don't feel that when you were climbing it, let's say, or when you first arrived, like when you first arrived. No, I mean, it's a beautiful it. structure, but the thing with the Great Wall is, like you could go, you could you could literally wander along it and okay. go into like some really dangerous parts because what do you mean? there are parts where it's completely there's no people. 
Right. Or there's only so, like in the rural areas, so something they happens. might kill you or something. Right, right. Or it, or you could go to a part where it literally like it just has collapsed, yeah. and then maybe you take a wrong step, I mean, it's, stone it's, falls it's out. It's an old old wall, Th- thousands of years old. Yeah, but um, I, don't, I don't I don't really approve of like stuff going underneath it because I feel right. like yeah, it's kind of like I mean I know I get this long, it's kind of hard to avoid it, but right. still it makes me feel a little weird about it. No, it, it, I agree. It definitely makes me feel really weird about it, but I'm just like well. How else will you be able to transport people fast enough, right? Uh, this is probably the this is probably the fastest way. Uh, I guess this is where the Olympic facilities are. This time, strategically, it is you have to go across the wall. Maybe last time the stadium and the facility wasn't over the wall. Well, they're Olympic Olympians. Maybe. Make them climb over the wall. <laughs> that's a new that's a new Olympic event. Scaling the Great Wall and dodging the pits. You can't climb it. You don't qualify for the Olympics. Yeah. I mean, look. I don't know how I feel exactly about this. I don't like you said. I'm not. I'm kind of uneasy about it. And of course, anytime, anytime, when the Olympics, the last time the Olympics went to China, I mean, it did. It did more bad than good personally because a lot of places were just. Oh, people. The last Olympics killed. Like, Dislocated, like, displaced hundreds of thousands of people. Forced labor, displaced people, oh, just horrible. kicked out. Um, whenever the Olympics goes to a country, you know that country takes advantage of the limelight. And what happens? People suffer. Okay, so I, that I don't like. You want to build a high-speed rail? That's your prerogative, you know. But on the other hand, it's going underneath. As long as it doesn't damage, as long as I don't want to hear that the workers started to dig too high, and now you're you're collapsing the foundation. That would be the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. So then that section of the wall starts going down. Like, come on, you can't do that. So well, I hope let, they go, let's, let's you know. see what happens. We'll keep you guys updated on the development of this uh, this track and also on the curse of the Great Wall. Great wall. Thanks for watching, guys. Later, guys.